Oh, crap. It's one of those weird guys that wears orange glasses and thinks light is important. Hey, my name is Micah Coffey. I'm going to cover a really interesting view of how nutrients work. This is something that I use to recover my health over the past 10 years or so, and I think it's one of the most uh, important pieces of information or sets of information that we can wrap our head around in life. So if we did actually talk about health, which isn't very common, we tend to overcomplicate it, which is probably done on purpose. We think that we just have to use advanced testing and all these crazy expensive machines and the right kind of insurance to figure out what's going on, except we kind of just continue to search for what's going on and never seem to get very far. And a lot of people end up feeling even worse. I caught on to this interesting way of looking at this stuff that seems really complicated at first, but it's actually rather simple. Thing one plus thing two equals thing three. Just like flour and eggs make cookies, throw in some chocolate chips and you get chocolate chip cookies. That's what's going on with our metabolism. It's just a bit more advanced and we have to learn a little bit more. Magnesium and all that stuff, protein, like this is how these things actually go through our system. We look at this the same way we look at how fuel goes through an engine and figure out how to diagnose or get it to perform better or whatever. It's no different than a vacuum, which is actually rather simple when we break it down. But what does this actually mean today? Like, how do we actually figure out what kind of nutrients to put through our system? That's going to take looking at this slightly different. We are cells. Our whole body is cells. And these cells are taking something in, doing something with it, and sending something different out. They work together to make something a little bit bigger than just cells. They're not much different than a cell phone. They're just biological. They're made out of organic matter. What we're really forgetting about is these toxins that we're loading up on over generations are inhibiting more and more cells to the point that we don't have energy to do what we need to do. And this whole system doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Each of these cells is like an ecosystem. We just need to get the right raw materials to this and give it the right environment and it'll do whatever it is that it needs to do. It's we're never going to figure out what this thing's trying to do, at least not in the condition our society's in today, where we're not really looking for root, you know, how, what, how things actually function. We just want to sell solutions to it. But if we give this thing what it needs, it does the same thing that an ecosystem does. It just goes. The problem is ecosystems can be exploited. And we are in survival mode because we need to survive and to increase our chances of surviving, we exploit things, which is what's happened. And it's happening across the board. It's happening to the planet. It's happening to all of our cells. Our cells are being hit by all types of profit generation and our ignorance is allowing that to become a problem. And when it finally becomes a big enough problem, we don't know what to do. All of these things that we're doing in our daily lives are working against our cells. And it's finally getting to a point where it's catching up. And if we don't understand how to see this for the right way and get back to nature, it doesn't really matter what we do. We can keep putting band-aids on it, but it's never going to get better. And that's, again, through our cells and all the way through the ecosystem. Some people actually live a natural life. Some people live a chemical life. Some people are trying to do a mixture of both. The problem is when we do this chemical life, we're inundating our cells to some point. When we keep doing this for a long time, over generations, we're building up with these toxins. Mom is passing them down to her offspring because her metabolism is using what's on hand to build more cells. And when we go into this mode, we open up our toxic storage and it just happens to go into our offspring. That actually kind of happens on purpose. Sometimes mom might do that to quote-unquote purposely have a miscarriage to try to have a better chance of it happening the next time. The problem is we're not looking at that building up because we're not looking at how this works. In a perfect world, we feed these cells nutrients. They all work together. They keep us at 100%. But in this world today, we're being hit with all types of various toxicities instead of nutrients. And over time, this is hitting our cells, stacking up, and reducing our abilities. Now, we understand with most things... If we maintain things properly, they can last a long time. And if we let them crash, it's much harder to fix. We take our car for oil changes and stuff like that, and we don't have problems. If we don't maintain our vehicle, we end up having something explode, and then we have to pay a tow truck to come get it and tell us how much it's going to cost to fix it. 
if we ignore what our cells are made of and how they function, then we fall for this. Eventually, these advanced machines crash, and it gets to a point where we have to depend on some crazy solution to get us running again. We're ignoring all of the symptoms that our body's giving us, telling us that things aren't right. It's not until things finally crash and we can't continue that we have to go look for some kind of insane, invasive procedure, drug, whatever it is, to try to shift things back into check. And that's being done on purpose. These guys, whether they kind of understand it or not, the whole system that they're a part of doesn't help support this. They can tell us what's going on and we're still not going to know how to fix this. We have to learn how to do this ourselves. And there's an insane amount of information out there that nobody's talking about because it goes against the whole broken idea of how these things don't work. This whole right here is more information than most people are even talking about. Inside this, this screen right here is thousands of pieces of info that are connecting how our nutrients work in a way that's actually really simple. This is kind of like a computer program running our nutrients. Normally we look at cells as these blobs. We're like, what kind of blobs do our organs look like? Instead of the computer that's actually running these cells. And if we ignore that, like, what's, why even bother chasing these things around? We're ignoring how the machine works. We're ignoring how a batch of cookies works. It's that simple in a lot of ways. So these pathways that we're not looking at, that we're not figuring out how to support and how to work with each other, are the cells that are being hit by the environment in different ways. Specific toxins are hitting these specific cells and wiping out that type of functionality. And we're just looking at that as these different numbers that we try to push higher or lower with the nutrient. But if we don't look at where that nutrient is inside this machine, it doesn't mean anything. If this one's not working, it might be working. It might not be working on purpose. Like it might be held back. Just like if we look at this in a different way, those dead trees down on the bottom in an environment that's not being taken care of properly could be our busted cells due to a certain toxicity. And if they are, if that's a certain thing that we need inside our metabolism, then we can't do that anymore. It's actually really simple if we look at it the right way. Instead of trying to fix the cracks that keep showing up, we, sh we need to realize that our foundation's broken. But people look at these things completely backwards. Everybody's looking at iron and getting caught up in how to get iron to suspend better while ignoring how the rest of the machine works and where different infections eat different nutrients and where things get caught up and how important a couple things like molybdenum and B2 are and why and where they sit in here. We're looking at either end of the machine or like B2 and iron, forgetting of the fact that these things all work together in some kind of gears. These gears aren't just spinning for fun. They all depend on each other and they're spinning for a purpose. We've got to like actually run this machine in steps or it doesn't work. If we don't have molybdenum, we can't break down sulfites to sulfates. We don't process oxalates and a couple other things don't happen. But we also can't break our homocysteine down into glutathione. Glutathione can't run our master antioxidant. So now we can't run our oxidative things like iron and copper and stuff. Once that goes on long enough, the rest of the stuff can't run. We don't have a reason to run methylation. The whole machine shuts down. Meanwhile, people are trying to shove methyls into it, thinking that's going to get it to run faster and fix everything. We're still looking at everything backwards. We're not looking at the fact that the foundation is broken. Then people finally find detox. They throw iodine on there, dump all these toxins out. Some of us can luckily wrap them up in fat. Others can't. I wasn't able to, so it just went right back into the few cells that I had available. It made me feel like complete crap. And I learned that we have to do this slowly, almost like if a bunch of windows were really dirty and we had a bunch of window cleaner. We can't just spray it on there and walk away from them when we realize we don't have the time or energy to handle it. It's the same thing we need to do with our cells. We need to slowly get a little bit of this stuff to come out, and then we need to run that through our system and actually detox it, which might require who knows how many nutrients. A lot of people are getting caught up on, like, one or two nutrients, and then they try one or two more, and then those don't work, and they try this or that and get frustrated. We're made of dozens of nutrients, and those nutrients run cells that are toxic right now. We need to support our cells that are functioning as much as we possibly can so that it can detox the cells that are full of crap, and then those can start using nutrients that we can't actually use right now. We have to do this slowly and keep moving forward. Something that a lot of people are missing is 
we are cells and our cells depend on each other in order to keep moving forward. That's what we're trying to do with these nutrients. We're trying to slowly push them through the system so we support what we have available. I personally don't see a way of doing that without actually tasting these nutrients and seeing what we feel like the next day before taking more or less of them. I did this over the years and I was like, hey, I feel much better when I take that. And that's related to something that I've been researching. So that makes sense. And I take something else and go, that didn't make me feel right. I don't think I need to take that yet. Or I didn't feel anything. So I'll just stick it back on the shelf and try again later. And as I made progress, I actually changed what cells I had available. And when I tried nutrients again, they worked differently. And I kept doing this and I finally got my health back. It's not a simple process, but there's a method to it that's kind of sitting out there. It just doesn't hold your hand and say, now you start this, then you take that. Something I can say that a ton of people aren't doing is taking enough magnesium. Everybody finally starts taking magnesium. They take one form of it, maybe two or three. I don't know why we're picking sides with magnesium. There's a whole bunch of different forms of it. And I personally noticed benefits from each one a little bit differently than the other. So I cycled through them until I felt all of it. There's a million things to cover. I actually cover a lot of it. I've talked about this stuff a lot. I've written about it. If you're interested, head, head over to www.unpilled.tv. I've got links to my other write-ups, videos, you name it. Let me know what you want to talk about next. Thanks for watching.